Adventures, this is John again from Didacta. Here I will introduce you a new and a very, very easy way to learn verbs. And it involves color association, of course, and it has a lot to do with sound uh, association or repetition. So the same way you learn your multiples, what you have to do is you have to take three verbs, and as you see, well, right here we have 260 verbs, and this little ring right here is to insert the verbs three by three. So every day, and that's what you have here on the back, you have the instructions. So what you're supposed to do is take three verbs every day and insert them in your ring, right? And what you have to do is, well, on the CD, you will have a workbook, you will have the uh, pronunciation for the verbs, and of course, you will also have uh, a sentence related to the picture. So, for example, here you're going to hear a sentence that says, I always do my yoga exercises. So, when you look at the picture, you associate with this what you to do. And you also have to repeat, do, get, done. So, even though you're not learning, uh, the past tenses or past parties of the tenses. Uh, it's a great idea to join the sound so whenever you get the past or the past participle for present and past perfect and past voice tenses, you will already know the verbs by sound. So all you have to do is take three verbs every day. So this is it. So what you do is you take this ring, yes, right here, and you insert well, kind of put this inside, so it's very easy, all you have to do is just punch this little hole, this, like this, and voila, right? Well, I'm sorry I can't do this with my one hand, but uh, it's a very simple thing to do, and believe me, you really, really, really get to know birds. They are not divided by alphabetical order, they are divided by sounds. So, for example, if you look at the first three verbs, you will hear a very similar sound. We have do, did, done, go, and done, come, and come, have, have, had, read, 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 met, met. Now, some verbs, they were not able to, uh, to be drawn before. You would only have verbs like swim and run and verbs that you, were, that you would easily tell by just looking at the picture. But for example, this verb and many other verbs, like for example, let me see, well, let's say the verb like. As you can see, there's, uh, it's not a very easy verb to draw, but when you look at the picture and you make the sentence, it will be very, very easy for you to uh, tell what the meaning is. All right, so let's take a look at this one right now. I can't find the verb like, I don't know why supposed to be down here. But anyway, so let's take a look at this one. Okay, so what you're going to hear is a sentence that says, uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So when you look at this, this verb, you know that this is the verb meet. Right? And of course you have to repeat meet, met, met. Now these little holes, remember, they are very, very easy to take out. You just do it like this and you're ready to be inserted. All right, now, how are you gonna practice the verbs? One of the problems that I used to have as a teacher is that I didn't know what verbs uh, had been learned by who. So, here you have a perfect way to have control of what verbs are being learned. So, with the word book that you have inside the CD, you will have something, well, right here we have like an introduction. Actually, this is a uh, comprehension, but, uh, so you have a letter to the student, this is the front page, you have the letter to the student, and then you have a quick introduction of regular verbs, simple forms, and then you quickly jump into uh, association. So, this is one of the pages. Uh, and you have a reading comprehension. So what you do is, what you will see is that, well, you can't tell very easily. 
But right here, in the stories, we have a lot of blanks or spaces or gaps. So those little gaps, they have a number according to the verb you're going to use. The verbs also have a little number, and it tells you that, for example, number seven is supposed to go somewhere along here, and you have to use those verbs. At the end, you have to, you have to see if you do understand or if you did understand the story, so you will have some brief questions. And so on. So you have a lot of crossword puzzles, you have a lot of stories, you have actually 16 different stories with the reading comprehension. And you have uh, lots of other exercises, regular verb, pronunciation, and sounds. And there's a lot of things that you can do, these are all printables. There's a lot to be done. Just a very quick review. There's a lot to be done. Now the quality of the printings are excellent. You will have no problem at all. It will come in high resolution for your CD. And it's a very, very good way to keep track of the verbs you're teaching. Alright, so. All of the verbs that you're learning, you will see them in your workbook in order. Alright? So, oh, I'm going to do this a little faster. But anyway, so, this is the package. It's 150 pesos. Uh, it's meant to use. The cards are not, uh, they're almost like plastic. They're very solid. You can see. And, uh... Oh, it's a very easy way to learn, and uh, you have lots of things integrated. For example, these, uh, it says that the same way that we multiply things, uh, like in Spanish we say seis por seis, ten por seis, nine por seis, ten por seis. We're really not, uh, we're not making figures, we're actually using sounds. So that's the idea here, that you use sounds and you associate them with the picture, so you have no Spanish at all. So you're not thinking in Spanish, you're just creating an image the same natural way we did as when we did uh, Spanish or native language. So thanks a lot for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you very much. Have a great class.